Hello everyone and welcome to Pokemon Ultra Moon Post Game Guide. Today I would like to talk about all the Pokemon you can find in the red Ultra Wormholes on the Ultra Warp Rye, primarily legendary Pokemon. Now before you start, there are some things you should know, and I went over these points in more detail in the previous video where we searched for legendary Pokemon in green wormholes, but now the condensed version. You should have Ultra Balls there at any Pokemon Center, Quick Balls and Dusk Balls are found in Route 8 on the Pokemon Center on Akela Island, and Tire Balls are where found in Pinolia Town's Pokemon Center. On your team, you want a Pokemon with False Swipe just to bring it down to the low HP, and a move that gives Sleeper or Paralysis for a status effect. Uh, moves that affect Ghost type Pokemon won't be needed because there are no Ghost type legendaries in Red Wormholes. So, yeah. Now, when navigating the Ultra Warp Ride, I guess you gotta collect speed up orbs and avoid electric orbs, and to avoid wormholes you don't wanna enter, return to the center of the screen <laughs> by letting go of the circle pad, or by pressing the A button uh, if you're still in gyro controls. You can always switch back and forth between gyro and circle pad by talking to the Aether Paradise scientist at the Grave Feet building in Heihei City on Akela Island. Okay, now we'll quickly go over the standard Pokemon you'll find in Red Wormholes. And shiny variants are are found differently. The dice rolls every time you go into a wormhole, in, in, in that case. So you'd have to travel to wormholes and wormholes. You can't soft reset. Shiny variants are different in that respect, but that's only for the standard Pokemon. Legendaries, of course you can soft reset as often as you like, because you only get the encounter once. Now that being said, the standard Pokemon that are found in red wormholes are Swellow, Altaria, Yanmega, Sigilith, and Swanna. Note they're all flying types. I think all the legendaries are also going to be flying types in this one, or for the most part anyway, or at least have Levitate. Anyway, now there are two legendary Pokemon that are version exclusive to Pokemon Ultra Sun. I have them here on the PC because of an event that happened in 2018. Those Pokemon are Ho-Oh and Tornadus. Now, in Pokemon Ultra Moon, the version exclusives are Thunderous and Yavaltal. Now, the legendaries which are in both versions of the game are Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and Cresselia. And there are two legendary Pokemon that you need to have in your party to get the encounter. That is Rayquaza, which requires Kyogre and Groudon, and Landorus, which requires Tornadus and Thunderous. Kyogre, however, is found in blue wormholes and is exclusive to Pokemon Ultra Moon. And Groudon is found in yellow wormholes, which are exclusive to Ultra Sun. Also, Tornadus is exclusive to Ultra Sun, and Thunderous is exclusive to Ultra Moon, and both are required. And both are found in the red wormholes. So, that, that one is easy to do, but the other one, but to get Rayquaza, you need to find these other two Pokemon. So you might have to come back and do that later. But anyway, I'm able to do it because I accidentally found one <laughs> when I was doing the uh, the uh, Ultra Warp Ride guide looking for Ultra Beasts. So I already have my Kyogre. So we'll find them. We'll, we'll be able to find Rayquaza in this video, which is easy, which is great for me. Anyway, now I hope that wasn't too confusing. So now let's go see what Pokemon we find first. It's an Articuno! It's playing the or original, um... Gen 1 music. That's pretty cool. Alright, well let's go ahead and just throw a quick ball at it. Oh, it didn't want to stay in. Okay, well... Let's first switch in to Magnazone and give it a Thunder Wave. You know, a good old wave for being friendly. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Give it some paralysis! Ha ha ha! Its ice typeness might hurt my dragon. So, uh, yeah! Let's make sure you can't get too many of those moves off. 
Yeah. Now. Back in the fray, Garchomp, with your false swipe. Oh, you, you avoided freeze dry. Oh man. I think that's a really strong move. One more false swipe should do it. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear, Garchomp. Okay. <clears throat> Let's uh, go ahead and throw some HP restores over at Garchomp. Good old Max Ocean. Alright, let's go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball at it. I don't know if dust balls really work, but I, I, it's usually the thing that works when they're in caves, but there, this one's not in the cave, so... There might be a different tactic for catching these guys. Tire ball won't happen just yet. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else. Then let's just go ahead with all their ultra ball. These tire balls won't work until it's like our tenth turn. Oh, so close! Let's do one more Ultra Ball, and then we'll do a Timer Ball. Not so much. Okay! There we go! Articuno was caught in a timer ball! Alright. Sounds good. That probably must have been my 10th turn, as I haven't been keeping track. Okay! Magnazone and... XP share, of course. Magnazone got some XP. Cool! We oh! I accidentally clicked on the naming of the Pokemon. Let's not. That's okay. If my daughter was nearby, I would be like, hey, name this Articuno for me, but... Articuno's been sent to a box. Here we go. Alright, did it leave behind anything? Sadly not. Okay, well, that Articuno came from a double red wormhole. Anyway, let's go back to where we came from. Be sure to save our game, and that is how you find Articuno. Okay, we are back in the wormhole and, oh shoot, we went through not even a one ring wormhole, a regular wormhole, and okay. What? We got an overwhelming presence in a non-ring wormhole? That's very interesting. Well, let's see what we got. Save the game, of course. Oh, wow. That sounds familiar. Let's see what it is. Oh, man. That was a Zapdos shadow. And there we go. We got Zapdos. So cool. A <laughs> second... Yeah, we got Articuno, Uno 1, Zapdos 2. Oh. If we find Moltres next, that would be so cool. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead, throw a quick ball at it. And see if it catches. That's a no, but that was so close. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was really close. Alright, Ancient Power, it's gonna throw at us. Okay, well, uh... Well, we'll just, I don't know, is switching in to Magnazone is going to help us in this case because it's already electric type. Um, I don't think we're going to try it. Well, let's just fall swipe and I'll meet you back when we start chucking some balls at it. Alright, that was the last fall swipe. Let's see if it catches in a regular Ultra Ball. I don't think so, though. <laughs> It'll probably take a couple of throw ball throws in order to get this thing. Yeah, that just broke right out right away. Straight away. My goodness, yeah. I'm so glad I have a ground type with me when I'm after the Zapdos. That's kind of great. That, that works out 
fine for me. Alright, well, well, I guess we'll just start chucking balls different different types. Like, Dusk Ball, like I said. This one's gonna be interesting. I don't know if it works here because I don't think we're actually in a cave, but, um, we'll try it. And of course, Timer Balls also work, but only up to the 10th turn, so... Whoops. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, we'll just see you guys when I actually catch it. It'll still probably take a little while. <laughs> oh dear, it's setting up weather. Well, um, again, ground type, and it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> eh, alright. Just back to chucking some more balls at it. So it's already been about four minutes of me just throwing balls and keeping my Garchomp healed up and we still haven't caught the thing. This is how long some of these catches can be, just so so you guys have reference. <laughs> it's, sometimes it's never fun. And I can't believe people shiny hunt these things. Oops, I hit Great Ball by mistake. Oh well, we'll see. maybe it'll go in this. <laughs> nope! Alright, well, um, see you guys in a pit. Hey, there we go! We caught it just after I said see you in a bit. Well, okay! Alright then, we got ourselves a Zapdos and an Ultra Ball. Clearly it wasn't gonna go in a Great Ball, that was silly. Um, okay, level ups for everyone, that's fine dandy. Alright, but that's Zapdos everyone, we're not gonna give it a nickname, it's just gonna hang out with us. But yeah, that's Zapdos. And surprisingly, I did go a couple... I did go 2,000 light years. To get it, but I was surprised that it was only a, not even a single ringed wormhole. That's that's very, that was the most surprising to me. All right, back to where we went, came from, and we'll see you what we'll see what we find next. Oh, we found a powerful presence in the sky. Red wormhole time! Alright, let's see what Pokemon we got. First we're gonna save, of course! Well, it's one of the legendary birds. We've already found... Wait... We found Moltres... No, yeah, it must be Moltres, because we found Arctic Uno. Oh no, it's not. What is this? Wait, it's uh, thunderous. Well, okay. That means we can't use our, uh, what's it called? Wait. We can both try throwing a quick ball at it and see if it fits in there. Alright. Nope. Does not want a quick ball. Okay. In that case, false swipe it shall be until you're weak enough. Now there's no point in having uh, paralysis happen because of the undeniable fact that he's electric type. He's electric and flying, so there's no point in trying. Well, I could. It's worth the shot. It's worth the waste of a turn. Let's bring... let's bring him in. Let's bring in Magnazone. Okay. Nasty plot, oh dear. That means his uh, special attack has risen. Alright, uh, Thunder Wave, here we go. He's got charge going again. Did not affect him. Thought so. <laughs> Alright, let's switch back into our ground type because Electric can't hurt us. We only need one more ball swipe and then we'll start chucking balls at it. My friend, you can charge the cows come home. If you have an Electric type move, it ain't gonna hurt. Alright, 
Whoa, a critical hit! Good job! Gotcha! Thankfully those are just physical. Alright, let's start throwing some Pokeballs at it, starting with an Ultra Ball. Go for it. Okay, kind of expected that. You got a critical ass. Okay, let's uh, see what other Pokeballs do we want to try. Dusk Ball. I don't think it's long enough to try using a timer ball yet, but... Mm. It sure likes the Dusk Balls. Yeah, we got five timer balls. Let's save them until when we know we have a lot of turns. Oh, for a moment I thought it would be already. Nope, okay. Gotcha. There is an effect with the discharge. That sounds awful. <laughs> Just realized what I said there. Yuck. Go in the ball. Go in the ball. Go in the ball. Okay. You seem to like that one very much. Oh, there we go! Caught in a dusk ball. Awesome. Thunderous was caught. <laughs> Magazone. Gained another level. All right. No nickname for you. Okay. Splendid. I don't recall if I saved first, but I probably did. Alright, so well, that was thunderous, guys. Alright. Wow, look at that. It's a, a wormhole with an aura around it, as if that's what you call it. <laughs> it's pretty flowery shaped. That's neat. Alright, well, let's uh, have a look, see if there's a legendary. And there is one. Okay. We got that powerful presence, so we better save. Okay. I'm not sure if I recognize that sound, but I think it is. Could it be? Yeah, it's Moltres, as I as I kind of thought. Well, Moltres, I'm glad you finally decided to show up. <laughs> Better late than never, I suppose. But we re what it would need if we've encountered Articuno, and then Zapdos, and then Moltres, but we ended up hitting Thunderous, or was it Tornadus? ahead of us. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. Let's start off with a quick ball and see what happens here. And nope. Okay. Well, we better just go ahead and switch. Magnezone will definitely be a benefit to having in this fight because he can definitely paralyze this guy. Alright, Magnezone. Let's get on with that Thunder Wave. Oh, and of course, Mulch. Okay. Let's see what this does. Oh, it avoided it. And you use Sunny Day. Really? I have to do high? I have to try again? <laughs> oh, gosh. He's setting up his fire moves, which would be very super effective towards us at this point because Magnezone is Steel. Alright, good job, Magnezone, finally getting off your Thunder Wave. Good job. Alright, we better back out. <laughs> we need we need Garchomp back in here. Because his ground type will not be as much hurt by the fire type, Moltres. Okay, an Air Slash. Alright. Of course, we're going to keep going on with Full Swipe until he's close to low HP. So that's good. Hey, this might be our last or second to last false swipe. Let's go for it. Bam! Oh yeah, that's that's perfect. Beautiful. Alright. Let's go ahead with an Ultra Ball. Oh, 
Nope. Did not like that one. <laughs> okay. Right, another Pokeball. Let's try a uh, Dusk Ball this time. Nope. Well, okay, let's just go for a Tire Ball and see if it shakes at all. Eh. <laughs> Not even one shake. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll just be throwing some more Pokeballs. This this takes a bit of time, so we'll s fast forward to the end here. Okay, I think this might be the one. Come on, Timer Ball. There we go. Gotcha, Boltres. All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, that is Moltres, everyone. Yeah, we're not going to give him a nickname, and yeah, that's kind of where you find Moltres. You could probably find him in any of the Red Worm holes. I just got lucky and found him in a special aura one. All right, let's head back to the... <laughs> and see what we're going to encounter next time. All right, let's see what we encounter next. Oh, it's a single, not even a single wormhole, wormhole. but uh, there we go. We got our powerful presence in the sky. So let's go see what it is in the Ultra Space Wilds. Of course, save your game. Bam. Ooh, that's an interesting cry. I'm not sure if I know which, uh, which Pokemon that could be. Oh, looked very Y like. <laughs> yep, it's Yavalto. That's how you pronounce it. All right, well, Garchomp. Definitely gonna start off with a quick ball because, of course, quick ball. Okay, here we go. Oh, it shook only once. Okay, well, we better go ahead and start with the, um... Uh, I think we better switch in to Magnazone just for that paralyzation. As we've been doing for all of these encounters so far. <laughs> okay. And not very effective, so don't care. Let's go ahead... Thunder Wave, here we go. Oblivion Wing. That's a wow. It's signature move. That hardly did anything. Well, if I did, <laughs> if I wasn't so, if I wasn't eh, words. Yeah, we're gonna bring it back Magnazone because I'm very certain that his electric moves are probably knock it out. We don't want that. That's why we have False Swipe. So we're gonna go ahead and use False Swipe on it. Let's just see how much damage one False Swipe can do. And then we'll skip to when we are, are done at last False Swipe. A decent chunk of health, about a quarter. Ooh. Yavalto's doing pretty good damages to us, too, actually. We might have to throw a couple of potions his way. Anyway, I'll meet you back when we are done the last full swipe and start chucking balls. Okay, I think that was our last full swipe. And uh, we uh, dodged the psychic attack. Well, that's good. So, of course, we're going to start with Ultra Ball. One... Two, three. Oh man. Oh, it broke out. Oh, <laughs> that was really close. Oh dear. I guess we have to wait for his attack to actually hit. Because I don't think we could throw a Pokeball 
at something that's, you know, not even there. Yeah, it won't let us. <laughs> okay, well, um, uh, I guess we'll just use false swipe or something. What? Okay, dust ball. I don't really know what happened there, but okay. Broke out of that one just as easily. Okay. I was paralyzed and couldn't move. That was what happened there. <laughs> Good. Alright, timer ball. Let's see if will it stick in this one? Yeah, it stayed in this one. Well, my goodness. After th three poke, only if like four three pokeballs, and it's good. Well, okay. That was probably the shortest capture we've ever done. Aside from quick ball captures, of course. All right. Some experience was gained, but no, whatever. Well, guys, that is Yavalto. <laughs> and we'll go back to the wormhole and see what is the next Pokemon we can pick up. See you soon. Okay, we're off again in the wormhole and there we have a two-ringed wormhole. Let's, uh, let's see what it is that we're going to encounter. Alright, we got that um, powerful presence. Good, good. Save a game, of course. Oh, that's a different sound. Let's uh, go see what it is. Oh man, it's it's Cresselia. Yippers, Cresselia. Okay, of course, bring out Garchomp because Garchomp. Of course. Quick ball time, just, oh, I really hope it goes in this. One. Oh, only one shake. Okay, very well. Whoa. Was that an aura beam? Oh dear. That is not very good type matchups because we are dragon type. Well, let's switch. Let's bring in... Magnezone, of course, to bring down, to give her a, uh, paralyzation, of course, as we always do. Alright, there we go. Thunder wave time. Here we go. Man, this music, though, takes me back to black and white. No, <laughs> We're just, we're just gonna have to use Garchomp anyway, regardless. Hopefully its paralyzation will m cause it to not use any of those Ice Beam-ish moves or Aura Beam moves. Okay, Slash, that's fine. That's fine. We might have to do some healing to it. Oh, it used Future Sight. I was trying to recall what that was, but okay. Go False Swipe, all right. Oh, there it goes with future sight again. All right, well, I think yeah, we we could probably handle some more attacks, but for now, let's false swipe and heal up. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll meet up when we have finally brought it down to low HP, but we might have to do some healing in the meantime. Oh dear, it has moonlight. No! <laughs> That's gonna make this increasingly harder. Just because it's gonna keep healing itself. Okay, we're, we're gonna keep going with full swipe. It's gonna be a long while. Okay, it looks like we have enough HP down that we can start throwing balls at it for the very first time. So let's chuck an Ultra Ball at it and see what happens. One, two, oh, oh, it didn't get that third shake after all. Okay, but it can't move, so that's fine. We're going to throw another type of ball at it. 
Hopefully it doesn't decide to do moonlight. <laughs> okay, dusk ball. One. Yep. Nah. Okay. <laughs> well, at least it can't move. That's that's good. That's that's going in our in our favor. Whew. Yeah, that is going in our favor. Awesome. Let's see what Pokeball timer already. Uh, I'm not sure if I made a good choice here. No, nope, didn't even shake once. <laughs> okay, well. Yep, there goes that moonlight. We're back to try and knock down its HP some more. Well, okay. Back to false swipe and throwing some HP, HP at us. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> oh, 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 man. We will be here for quite some time. I'll meet you back when we're getting closer to catching. Well, okay, we got it back to its uh, low HP again after like three times. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I used the netball there. <laughs> Whoops. No, well, whatever. Obviously, it's not going into that. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're anywhere close to catching it, but I thought I'd let you know that we had to bring its, bring its HP down like three or four times already because Moonlight. Ugh. Okay, I've officially lost count on how many Pokeballs I've thrown at it. Let's go ahead with this Dusk Ball. Hopefully it goes in. Uh, okay, only shook twice. All right. Still paralyzed. I had to heal Garchomp at least four or five times, though. Let's see. Timer ball, go. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, oh come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay, Ultra Ball, go for it. One, two, three. Oh, there we go! We caught her! Cresselia finally caught after like 18 minutes later. <laughs> well, experience happened, and that was Cresselia, guys. So I think the next Pokemon we're gonna try to look for will be the two Pokemon that we need to have different Pokemon in the party for. Which I believe that's Landorus and Rayquaza. I don't know which one we're going to find first, but um, yeah, we got to add those guys to our party. So I'll meet you guys when I, I guess I pick which one. Yeah, well, I think we'll try to go for Landorus. We're going to go after Landorus. That means we need to bring Tornadus and Thunderous with us and uh, into the ultra wormhole and go into specifically a red wormhole we will try to find hopefully we'll try to find a, f a furthest one out there but um we'll see we'll see what the first one is so um meet you guys when i encounter it i'm gonna try to aim for a wormhole a red wormhole that has at least one ring around it and we'll see what happens oh. Whew, that was close Lots of, uh, uh, uh. It might not matter, though. It might not matter at all. Here we go. A ring, one ring wormhole. Let's see what's in here. Ah, there we go. Our powerful presence in the sky. All right, well, let's go and see. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Landorus for us. Or, yeah, Landorus. Yeah. That sounds like it's Cry. Here we go. Yep, that's Landorus silhouette as well. Nice. All right, Landorus. You should go inside this Quickaball. <laughs> I hope so, anyway. Please, please, go inside this quick ball. Please. 
All right. Uh, One. Two. Okay. Well, that that's to be expected. That's ooh, earth power. Ooh. Ah. What level were you again? <laughs> well, <laughs> Magnazone is. He's 60. Magnazone's 85. Hmm. Well, okay then. We know for sure that Magnazone's Thunder Wave will not do anything against this guy. So, let's just bring Garchomp in. We won't be able to get Paralysis off. Which is unfortunate. But, um, yeah, let's bring, bring in Garchomp. And we'll do our, of course, False Swipe. I really wish I had somebody else, you know, that could do a, some kind of status ailment, but unfortunately we do not have that. Alright, let's start with fighting. False swipe. See how much it does. A decent amount. Of course, mind you, Garchomp is almost level 100, so um, <laughs> there's that to consider as well. Okay, well, it looks like just one more false swipe, and we could chart, and we could begin to throw pokeballs at it. And of course, he is getting off quite a good amount of damage to it as well, but to our um, our um, what? Uh, Garchomp, he's taking a lot of damage too. Uh, but let's see, one, two, three, really? Oh, okay. I was like, already? But no, of course not. I jinxed it. Of course. Aha. Uh -huh. We we probably should give Scarchup a little bit of heals. Hmm. That might not have been enough. Oh, well. Oh, Sandstorm? Really? Come on, Garchomp. You know better than that. We are the same type as you. We aren't going to get hit by your sandstorm. Just saying. Well, let's try something else. Yeah, didn't like the dusk ball, apparently. May be too soon for a time evolve, but we'll try. Yeah. <laughs> of course, that didn't work at all. Oh well. Oh man, that was really close with that <laughs> dusk ball. Okay, well noted. Oh wow. I might run out of max potions at this rate. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I think I mentioned at the beginning of the episode that you were able to get the either or version exclusive from the special event that happened a long while back in 2018. Uh, hopefully you guys picked that up. If not, then I guess you'll have to resort to, uh, dare I say it, the GTS. If you guys don't have access to either Thunderous or Tornadus. Because you need both in order to obtain Landorus. Oh, well, there we go. Landorus is caught. It just dawned on me just now that maybe I should have looked at the move sets of both Tornadus and Thunderous, just to see if there was anything that I could have used to give it paralysis or some kind of status effect. Oh well, there's Landorus, guys. Landorus is put in a box. And that is it for that. We will go back and I'll just... I want to look at him at the, at the PC real quick, just to see. Okay, there he is, Landorus. It's got Earth Power, Rock Slide, 
Earthquake and Sandstorm. Yeah, we know about all those moves he tried. Naive Nature with Sand Force. Now, I don't remember what the ability Sand Force does. Oh, I wanted Summary. There we go. Let's see. Sand Force ability... And boost the power of rock, ground, and steel type moves in a sandstorm. Okay. I guess that's a uh, decent. With the naive nature, he gets a speed boost and a special defense um, nerf. I had to think of the word there. Okay. Now, just for curiosity's sake, was there anything that these guys had that would have helped? Yeah, Tornadus is my version exclusive, so is my, the one that- no, words. <laughs> Tornadus is the one I got in the event because he's a version exclusive to Sun. Thunderous is the one I caught here, uh, earlier in one of the red wormholes. Prankster nature, prankster nature. Or ability, rather. Brave nature, gentle nature. Um, yeah, neither of these guys had any type of status ailments that would have affected Landorus. So, I'm glad I didn't have him in the front. Okay, I guess we can go on and find Rayquaza. In order to do that, though, we will need both the help of Groudon and Kyogre. Now, Kyogre is one you can catch in Ultra Moon. However, Ultra Sun is where you would get Groudon. So, if you have both versions, you can trade each other yourself your own version. Uh, of course, I got mine in the 2018 Legends um, special event. Alright, let's just plop these guys in the party. And, yeah, we'll pop him in the party, and we will meet you guys when we try to go catch Rayquaza. Whoops. Oh, I didn't think Rayquaza would be in this one. It was only a single, st single, <laughs> a level two roll. What the poo? And I didn't go very far either. This is very unprecedented. Hmm, <laughs> words. This is very unprecedented. Well, okay then. Let's go get Rayquaza. I have, don't even know how many times I have tried going so far into the wormhole and only getting like a minimum 3,000 light years away. Uh, but, uh, and not encountering it at all and ended up going into a different wormhole. But anyway, rant over. Let's go. That's definitely Rayquaza. Sweet. Here we go. Ah, didn't think this moment would ever come. I was starting to question if, it, if, if I, I already accidentally encountered Rick, Rayquaza and left or something, but here we are. Rayquaza, guys. Ooh. All right, Megazone's going to start things off. But of course, we're always going to start things off with a quick ball. Here we go. Wait, wrong button. There we go. Oh, I'm derping so much as I derp and breathe. Rayquaza, you're here. You're actually in the game. Who'd thought? Oh, am I going to get in a quick ball too? Yeah, okay. Well then, Rayquaza caught in a quick ball. That was very crazy. What the heck? I was thinking I would not, never ever find him in a million years. Oh my gosh, there we go, guys, Rayquaza. Yeah, no nickname for you, we'll send you to a box, perfect. And yeah, I think that concludes every Pokemon that you can find in the Red Wormholes. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and yeah, we will see you in the next video, where we deal with Pokemon found in blue wormholes. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.